Good Friday afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is Explicit, and Chris here. Um, it's been a while, so thanks for staying tuned. I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I got a little bit before I eat dinner and go to the scar shop tonight. Um, if you follow the channel, you'll be uh, understanding of the build that I'm doing. I'm calling it the Runt. It started its life off as, you know, for those that don't have an idea... JJ Roto Geek sent me this kick ass little thing. He says, Chris, I'm not a tiny, tiny whoop little dude, so uh, I'm sending you this frame. And I had some motors and everything set up on this frame, but there was just not enough room to breathe with this deal. So, hi, cat, jumping on my lap. Every video, she wants to jump on my fucking lap. Anyway, so I decided to go with a little bit bigger of a frame, give my stack some room, add some goodies and stuff, because I'll have the power with these 20,000 kV motors. I don't know if I can even zoom in on Let me see here. This frame's not 100% put together. Let's see here. Are we going to be able to zoom? Uh, uh, let's see if I can read it. They are 0703 20,000 kV. Um, I'll see if I can find out where they came from. But anyway, so in the search for an awesome camera, here is the camera mount, which I notched for the camera I was originally going to use, and I decided to go... Not with this, because it doesn't look pretty. It'll probably work, but uh, this is the way I got it. And uh, I, s I, I didn't like the antenna on it, because when you cram it into a place where the lens isn't sticking out, it would hit, and I did not like that because of the... I'm going to call it the bell part of the antenna. This thing is not focusing today. There we go. So... This guy's going to get snipped, and I'm going to put this little guy here. This is an 800 TVL. CMOS, you know, typical camera, um, 25 milliwatt. It's got all the cool little spots that'll light up in the back, letting you know um, what channel you're on. It's NTSC and uh, PAL. It is switchable. I got it on Amazon. It was $12. Let me see if I can find the box. Yeah, that's the box it comes in. Let me see if I can find. I don't want to mispronounce the company. I did see it somewhere. Where the f did I see it? There we go. That's the company that it came from. It's just a, you know, probably rebranded, whatever. Um, I'm stoked. This is the first tiny camera I've seen, and you know, I could have missed it, but this has a removable plug, so you could actually pull the power out. Depending on your build, if you needed to like pull the nose off, you could just unplug it. Um, but the main factor for this was its size, its weight. It does say. Somewhere in here, I think. There we go. 3.6 grams. Field of view is 150 degrees horizontal. If that's horizontal, let me maybe not fuck that up. And vertical, I think, is 170. So you'll have an epic, you know, and this will, this will be flying acro, of course. So when you're doing stunts and you're pitched upside down and stuff, you'll have, you know, a better field of view for doing shit like that. But we'll see. Again, back to it. ADD moment was the antenna. Let's see if I can grab my phone here. This has, which I believe is called the Apex Connector, which needs a little bit of hot glue and the JJ makeover with the uh, heat shrink and stuff over that protect it. But inside, when it sits on this mount, which I'm about to epoxy, when it sits on the mount and gets pushed all the way back, it tucks underneath and then I do a little zigzag like I did and it'll still come up the, uh, the center little arch here with the green. And um, it'll still be flexible and bent and shit, and it doesn't hit anything. So, I cannot wait for this. The stack, I actually, two and a half months ago, for this build, when I got this from JJ, I ordered, it had a bad part. The um, ESC all on one board here is missing. Let me see if I can get this to focus here. There we go. It's missing right here. The little jumper pad that would wire off one of these little black deals. On each side, um, I don't know if it's the way it was packed or just the way it was sitting on the frame. I think it was actually the frame, just the way it rubbed because I very delicately took it apart. So I ordered one of these. I found it for a good price on Banggood, which I don't like anymore. And it was like 12 bucks and, you know, typical 7 to 20 days. And uh, it's been well fucking over. So I got fed up and I had a bunch of coupons from all the bullshit that I buy on Banggood. So they had a whole stack basically for the same price. And that shit's supposed to be here tomorrow. Or whatever, you know, very, very soon. So I might just take this piece off because I've already used the stack 
from the old one and soldered. And mind you, now I've got to shrink these wires. But um, I've already got the stack prepped for LED and buzzer and all that fun shit and then the fucking camera. So I'm just going to unplug the other one, plug this one into it and have a backup. But um, this thing should be killer. I had the white props that I ordered a million years ago. But that's what these... You won't see me wearing using the pink. These I'm just not a pink guy. <laughs> these are just going to be backups just in case. But I got the blue in the way. I have not found green. I'll live with that. But I think the blue would look good contrasting with the green. And um, this one is going to be called the runt. The runt of the litter. And um, I have a big build coming soon. So you guys need to stay tuned. Um, I got a little incentive with work. Uh, starting some new stuff. And... Um, I am going to be doing a pretty epic build, brand new shit, and I, I didn't skimp on some of the stuff, which you'll see. It's going to be a really cool color scheme, and that guy's name is going to be Evolution, and for very good reason, because of the change, the evolution within myself, how I've progressed in this awesome, awesome hobby in, in life in general. So the name will fit, and then when you see the colors, and believe it or not, it's not going to be green. Um, I think you guys will be impressed. So I look forward to that. I appreciate everybody that's following. Please comment, thumbs up, let your buddies know. And uh, I look forward to talking to every one of you. We'll see you guys in a bit. Maybe a cigar video tonight. And if you don't follow me on Fireside Cigars, look for Fireside Cigars on YouTube. Also under Fireside Cigars, not explicit FPV. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Deuces.